Hello everybody. So basically this is my first video. Um, I'm going to be unboxing uh, this Wismic RX, uh, so Reload RX 200S. So I'm, I'm not going to do a full review because I'm not a pro at this. I don't really know much, like, a lot about different, you know, all the specs of, you know, the different mods out there. But from what I've gathered so far from reviews, you know, people, other people's videos and, you know, just friends and colleagues and peers, um, I've come to the conclusion that this is probably one of the best out there right now. Okay, this is the RX 200S. So the previous version was RX 200, which was apparently the best, uh, or rated the best, or one of the best in 2015. So now it's 2016 and Relo have come out with a new mod, uh, the S version. So to my knowledge, the only difference is really from this to the old one um, is the screen. So 0.96 inch screen. Okay, and a few extras that uh, obviously they've upgraded or improved on. And um, yeah, I mean, pretty much the output is still the same 200 watts. I've not tried it myself. This is going to be my, for, even for me, is my first, you know, first look at this because I haven't uh, unboxed it myself yet. But ideally, it's for people who are upgrading from something like this. So it's a beginner mod. Um, my first beginner mod, anyway, is iStick 50 watts E Leaf with the Kangatech Sub Tank Mini. Uh, I've actually switched to the rebuildable atomizer now. Um, the RBA because I, I, when I st first started, right, I used the you know pre-built coils, but you know after a while I started to want to build my own coils, and I've got to the point where I feel like I need to, you know, I want a bit more power. I want to, I want to build more coils with much uh, lower resistance, so therefore I need a you know a bigger wattage uh, mod, right? So I mean, don't get me wrong, for for a beginner who's first ever tried or first use of you know, mods and rebuildable atomizers, this would be a perfect one to go for. Believe me, I've been using this for about almost almost a year, about nine months, and I've had no issues with it. Obviously, you can you can tell by the you know just the body has been worn, it's been used, used and abused. <laughs> but no, it's that's done me well. It still works fine. I can just show you a bit of how much smoke it produces right now. Still quite a lot of smoke. Uh, it's actually reading at 0.4 ohms. So I'll keep it uh, about 3.5 to 3.6 volts. Um, anything above that, I think 3.7 is okay as well, but sometimes I get a dry hit. Um, anything above that will definitely give me dry hit after a couple of drags. So I'll keep it roughly about 3.5 to 6. Um, also airflow to the max, wide open. Okay. Um, oh yeah. The flavors I use as well in here, anyways. Just, I know I'm going beyond the point, but I'm using this brand, American brand, Black, with a Q, Origins. The guy at my local store introduced me to this, and it is banging. But before I was using this one, right? I was using a UK brand. This one, Black Magic, Sweet Revenge, UK produced. And Black Magic, if you guys are listening, you need to start making more of these Sixth Sense. So Sweet Revenge is my second best, actually. Sixth Sense was one of the best flavors I've ever had. So if you're listening, you need to make more of those and distribute to more of the shops down here. I live in South London. All right, so let's just get back to basics, right? I'm gonna be unboxing the Wismec Relo RX 200S. Spoiler alert, obviously, I'm not gonna be doing a full review. Um, I'm no pro at this, so I can't review like that. <laughs> but I'm gonna be unboxing this and giving you my experience and what I see, uh, what I get from this box as well, just so you know as well when you buy this, what to expect from it. Okay, so all right, let's get the unboxing knife. Bim bam boom. You know what? I watched this guy on YouTube, Flossy Carter. He always uses one of these looking knives. So I thought, yeah, let me give it a shot. Hopefully, I don't cut my arm. Cut my arm off. Boom. Sick. Nice job. Would have done a better job than I would by hand. That's unwrapped. Okay, so on the back, as it says, well, Relo RX 200S. Mine's the red and black version. Okay, standard configuration. You've got one Relo. Okay, no batteries. Just so you know, when you get these, you need to buy your own batteries. Uh, these, this one takes three 1860, uh, 18650 batteries. I just got them for the post yesterday. These are Sony uh, VTC5 2500 milliamps. 
and these are recommended for them but also Samsung's uh, 30Q 3000 milliamps were recommended for us as well so I mean I, I chose the one whichever came quicker <laughs> but yeah they don't come with batteries um, so it comes with one USB cable, one user manual and a warning card let's see if it's in here okay so open the box up what's inside yeah the black and red so when it first came out, the RX uh, 200S, I think they only had the chrome or stainless steel colour, grey, whatever you call it, that colour. But now they've got all different colours that need. The black and red, um, black and blue, you've got a scion and I think it was black, but loads of different colours. Look at that though, man, it looks so fresh. Even for me, you don't, you don't understand, right now I'm actually so excited. It's my first time seeing this myself. Like, right, open this up. Okay, got the battery. Okay, inside, well not back to the side, but we've got the insides here, negative, negative, positive, it's actually quite nice, this feels really smooth, this uh, battery door, it's quite tough though to get open, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but yeah, it's good though, good to know that it's actually solid, so the batteries don't just fall out, or the, you know, the door doesn't just fall out, there you go, that's how it looks like, what else do we get in it? Okay, got the warning piece of paper, so please, yeah, you can read that. Okay, that's a warning little uh, piece of paper there. What else is inside? Let's have a look. Okay, got the instruction manuals, or manual. Okay, I think it has different language. There we go, all different languages and stuff. So you can enjoy that. You know, I usually just read these, but like, when I'm in a toilet or something. But <laughs> since I'm not in the toilet, I'll read that later. Um, and that's it, USB cable. Cool. So I haven't actually tried it myself. As you, can, you guys can see, I've actually just unboxed it with you guys. So let me just stick some batteries in there and see if it turns on. Cool. Alright, let's take this out. Hopefully, I can get this right on the first go. Come on. There we go. Uh, plus, minus. Minus this way, isn't it? Yeah. That's about right. it there we go it turns right on see there's a load of holes in this one there's a lot of ventilation holes for the batteries that's how you know it uses quite a lot of power but yeah it's pretty pretty nice so i'm gonna have a play around with it but um i mean like i said i'm not gonna be doing a full review on it i mean if you did want me to do a full review or like just sort of a, a review of my experience of this then you know uh, i might do in another video if i do one but this is it. this is it for now. I'm just unboxing it, showing you guys what you get in the box. You know, um, I mean, it looks from just from the face of it, just from just looking at it now, it is so nice. It feels good as well. It feels nice in the hands. I think this is actually probably the best I've ever held. I've held some good. I mean, I went to Vape Jam UK in summer. I've tried a lot of the vapes out there, like Sigelli's and all different. I can't remember all the brand, but this actually feels pretty decent in the hand power button here, no atomizer, but the button feels so smooth, so, you know, just nice in general, but yeah, I mean, thanks guys for watching, um, If you, like I said, if you did want me to make another video just to show you my experience of it, I'll be happy to, because I actually bought a, um, an RDA for it, uh, which was, I was so fully prepared for it already even, but if you want me to make another video to review my experience, you know, uh, just let me know, click on the like button below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.